Come on now, we're not done. We know it's a cover-up going on here somewhere, man. Something just ain't right. It just does not seem right, man. I mean, yo, a lady goes out to get a tummy tuck and, and when this happens, I don't know, y'all. Mexico. Here we come. Here we come. This is video inside the minivan heading to Mexico before four Americans were kidnapped. It was originally live streamed on Facebook. A law enforcement source familiar with the matter tells NBC News a previously unreported fifth person made the road trip but left the group before the others crossed the border because that person did not have the proper documentation. We're blurring her face since she has not been publicly identified. To the tragedy in Mexico. Two of the four Americans kidnapped in Matamoros last week have been found dead. Their bodies will be returned to the U.S. later today. The two surviving Americans are already back here in the country. And Mexican authorities have at least one suspect in custody. ABC's Nguyen reports. A tragic ending to the search of four Americans kidnapped in Matamoros, Mexico at gunpoint last week. Mexican authorities saying two of the victims were found dead, their bodies for now held at a morgue there. The State Department announcing the two surviving Americans are already back in the U.S. This video appearing to show the group as they were being kidnapped by heavily armed men and thrown into the back of a pickup truck. The four Americans have been identified as Shaheed Woodward, Latavia Tay McGee, Zindo Brown, and Eric Williams. Yo, what up? Welcome to The Real Spill, man. We got four Americans, man, coming from South Carolina, and they decided they was going to go to Mexico to get a tummy tuck, all right? So, uh, apparently, they uh, made it across the border, and uh, the Mexican cartel thought that they were Haitian drug dealers, all right? The Mexican cartel thought that these American black folks, poor black folks, were some Haitian drug dealers, okay? Now, why would they think that? I mean, isn't that kind of odd? I mean, uh, people who always go out to other countries, um, especially Mexico, not this particular part of Mexico, but especially Mexico to get these procedures done, all right? Women go out there all the time and come back safe. What was different in this case? What was different? Now, we got a lot of people online saying that this might have been a drug deal gone bad. I mean, it could have been. I mean, we just don't know. Of course, you know, the lady said, hey, uh, you know, she was going to get a tummy tuck, but why in that particular part of Mexico? There is a lot of uh, griminess going on in that particular part of Mexico. Now, we got two victims, Shahid Whitworth and Zendel Brown. All right. I mean, these two guys were murdered on a Mexican street and it's kind of odd because, like I said, it was four of them, so two of them survived. Of course, one was hit in the leg. Now, the female name is Latavia McGee, okay? Now, Latavia McGee and Eric James, all right, was the ones that survived the shooting. Now, we don't know exactly what happened, all right? Apparently, they thought that they was a uh, Haitian drug lords and they ran up on him and started blasting him in the car right and apparently so this was a setup as soon as they crossed the border they apparently had their eyes on him apparently and followed them to wherever they was going to follow them and did what they was going to do now two people are dead we have a distraught woman okay because she is clearly clearly distraught all this over a tummy tuck a tummy tuck i don't know how sure i am about that i mean the cartel just seen some black people with dreadlocks and started blasting you know what i'm saying i mean it could happen i'm not saying that that's not what had happened it's mistaken identity yeah okay but you got to think about this you got Four poor black people coming from South Carolina going to Mexico with a bag full of money. Alright? And they want everything for cheap. They trying to find everything for cheap. They going straight to the connect. That's what they was doing. In my opinion. That's what it seems like. Because you got the FBI, man. And the cartel, man. They not dummies. Alright? They're not stupid. There are They are not going to go to war with the FBI, okay? They are not finna just go down and start shooting down Americans, kidnapping Americans, 
for absolutely nothing. Now, this guy that they have in custody right now, man, he is just somebody that they the cartel is just pretty much throwing out there and saying, hey, take him, blame this guy, okay? Because they need somebody to blame because if not, guess what? Here comes the who? FBI, all right? Here comes the feds. The feds is going to start hitting the cartels hard if they didn't give them somebody, all right? If they didn't come up with some type of motive. Now, of course, Miss McGee and Mr. James is not going to come out and say, hey, yeah, this is what we were doing. We was out there trying to get our hustle on. We was out there trying to get our grind. It went bad. Something happened. And it was terrible. No. They're going to say, hey, what they plan was, before they even left the house, they already said, hey, we're going to say, we're going to get a tummy tuck. If anything happened, you're going to get a tummy tuck. You know what I mean? I mean, it just makes sense to me. Now, like I said, this is my opinion. I could be wrong. But you put two and two together, it just does not seem right. Something is wrong with this picture okay this is a weird picture and like i said man black people go out to mexico all the time all right and you don't hear too much of this happening why now you dig was it a young cartel mistake hey there go some haitians let's get them or was this something else but anyway man thank you for joining the real spill it's your boy and i'm out of here later y'all Huh. Yeah.